Hey everyone, welcome to the Final Cut. So glad you could join us today. I got a real interesting one for you. If you ever wonder, have they done everything in film? Well, I've got one for you that uh, really will surprise you. And it's called The Old Man, The Movie. Uh, yes, from directors Oscar Lalama and Meek um, Magi. And I hope I pronounced it right. If not, I do apologize. But it's from Estonia. And we get a stop motion animation film that gives us the story of this grandpa who has his grandkids come out to his farm to the summer. The parents drop them, the kids off and they take off. Well, the kids don't exactly want to be there, at least the two old oldest ones they can't uh, get away from their phones and the grandpa really wants these city kids to learn how to work on a farm and he's a very important guy in his town because he has a cow that he milks every day and provides milk to this entire town who are literally seeming addicted to the milk but when the guy's cow escapes, no thanks uh, to his grandkids, we see how the grandpa goes on a trip to find his cow and help bring milk back to his town. But there's some danger in there as there's a man who was uh, horribly disfigured due to a cow utter milk accident from back in the day. And he wants to kill the cow because he thinks cows are dangerous. And so we see how these two travel and encounter a crazy group of different characters along the way, including a tree god and a group of hippies at a festival, all trying to get to the cow, one to save it and the other one to kill it. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's just scratching the surface. This film, man, it is. it was amazingly quirky, odd, and fun. I enjoyed it. Now it's very mature. Think of Wallace and Gromit, but in a rated R fashion, because the humor and uh, the dialogue especially is more of the mature matter. Uh, it had me laughing in many points, and in some points just going, wow, okay, they went there from a guy who's made completely of milk to, uh, yeah, something that the tree god asks people to do in order to help them. Um, all of these awkward yet mature moments that are, I found hilarious and it, interesting. It, it really, the, the creative minds behind uh, this film were just no hold backing, uh, just, just coming up with the wildest ideas like, uh, those in, uh, things inside a bear's stomach, which you also have to see to believe. The animation is beautiful. Uh, the stop motion work that's done by Bop Animation and Apollo Films Productions was amazing in this movie. It was, while you, your characters don't move their mouths, uh, think kind of a la, uh, you know, a Gumby of sorts, uh, the animation and, and the art and the work that went into the models uh, that they're animating was fantastic. I, I was quite surprised by the quality of it. Now, uh, this is being put out by Unearthed Films. Thankfully, they're putting this quirky, odd film out there that uh, if you're a stop motion animation lover and don't mind some mature humor, you've got to check this out. Uh, it's going to be also, it's out now actually, and uh, it's being offered both in a dub format, but it also is offered in the Estonian language uh, with English subtitles, which I always recommend getting it in the original language, listening and watching it in the original language, because you get the true performances of the actors actors who uh, were behind the film. Uh, there's a number of uh, 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 extras on the DVD uh, that's out there, which is include and Blu-ray, which includes uh, Old Man Short, uh, The Taste of Cow. Uh, there's trailers. There's all kinds of uh, interesting extras on it. And yeah, this is a wild film I would have never known about, but it was brought to my attention uh, thanks to a listing in Unearthed uh, Films. Uh, and yeah, if you're looking for something different, folks, this is the film to watch. Thank you so much. If you happen to see uh, this uh, quirky film about milk, uh, please leave your comments down below. As always, check out our Patreon and, and subscribe and all that bells and whistles here. I thank you for your support. And until next time, remember, I keep that ticket stub.